Hi, I'm Jack Buffington, and I'm going to show you another hardware hack. Uh, this one involves linear motion, and uh, a lot of you are probably familiar with with solenoids. And uh, for those of you who are not, what a solenoid is is it's a it's a two-lead electromechanical device that uh, allows you to produce a linear motion. So you have a little plunger here that uh, you can attach something to, a lever, or whatever you might want. And when you put power to the, uh, there's a coil inside of here, when you put power to that coil, it creates an electromagnetic field inside of the solenoid. And the plunger is, uh, has a large iron content, and it will be pulled into the solenoid. Now, there are some types that are push solenoids, but, uh, this one is a pull solenoid, so it pulls inward. And solenoids are great things. They can have quite a lot of pull in a small space. However, uh, the trouble with solenoids is, is that their stroke is very small. If you want to get the full power of the solenoid, most of that power is right when it's almost all the way in. As you move farther and farther out, it has a lot less power. So what I'm going to show you is a way that you can take and make another linear motion using a small DC motor. And uh, here's a little motor that uh, you can get at jameco.com and it's just a small little DC motor. And what I've done here is I've taken and I've made a, a small disc of polyethylene. Uh, specifically this is high density polyethylene and you can get this from various online plastic suppliers or if you're lucky enough to have a plastics place in your hometown you can most likely get polyethylene there as well. Uh, this disc uh, as you can see has a small hole in there and this hole is smaller than the diameter of the shaft for the the motor uh, and they form what's called a press fit and uh, so it, it, it's a friction, friction holds that on there. Uh, now what I'm going to do is in order to get my linear motion from, from something that is a rotary uh, motion, I'm going to take a piece of string, and here's the piece of string, and I'm going to feed it through, sorry I don't have the best angle on this, I'm going to feed it through the plastic disc. And then, I'm going to push this whole assembly, the disc and the string, onto the end of the motor. So now, you can see it's like this. So that the string, the long part of the string is towards the motor. It's not on the outside. Okay, and at the end of this string here, you can see I've got a uh, one and a quarter pound barbell weight. And that's a, a decent amount of uh, weight for something like this to pull. And I've got my DC power supply here, and I have it set to 7 volts. And you can see here, I'm going to hold it up. Uh, hard to tell if this can be seen. There we go. <laughs> I'll hold it up way up here. Reclip my clips. And you can see when I apply power, it lifts up the, the weight. And it's only lifting it a few inches here because what's happening is as it wraps the string around the motor shaft, it's wrapping until it gets to the motor and then it would need to take a second loop, but the motor doesn't have quite enough torque to uh, do the second winding, so it's just stopping at that point. It's stalling out. Uh, I wanted to show you with something that's fairly heavy, uh, but if you were doing something that was lighter, you could get a second or maybe a third wrap out of that and get a, a lot more distance. So that is a way to get linear motion out of a motor and actually cheaper <laughs> than with the solenoid. So this is Jack Buffington, and this is a mechanical hack. Thank you.